Good morning. How are y'all? Actually, it's evening when I'm videoing this, but it'll be morning when I actually post it. So top of the morning, good day, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I took the cover off just to protect it. This is Wonderland by Shen. And I'm actually working on this page right here. So let's zoom in because we're getting so good at doing that. Y'all glad I'm finally learning all this? Okay, so I actually pulled out my Marco Renoirs. Okay. And I am currently using in color order 41, 45, and 10. I think that's light to dark. So First thing I'm doing are these horizontals. And I'm using the lightest of my three shades and just going through here. Y'all, it's nothing special. It's really not. So when you're doing basket weave, I would say just grab several browns that you know are gonna go okay together. All right. So you do all that and you're like, okay, that doesn't look bad. We could just do that as a basket. But what if we want it to look more like that? It's not hard. It's not hard at all. So I'm gonna come back in then, make sure I'm in frame. Look at that. Now, this is the second or the middle color or if you have a light and dark, okay? What I'm doing, can you tell what I'm doing there? I'm just hitting from the inside out, just tick marks, okay? So to show you more, if this is the paper, I'm hitting the paper and then lifting away. Hit and then lift away. All right, and so here we go again. Hit and lift. It's just little tick marks. And it's really almost self-blending by doing that. And then I'm gonna come this way and do all these. Now, when you get up under the edge of a basket, kind of have to leave a little shadow there because that lip does overhang the rest of that basket. Okay? So there's that. Let's just go down through here, quickly get a few. See, it's just hit and lift. Look already how much different that looks than this. Okay, just hit and lift. And it really kind of depends on your basket weave. But don't make it harder than what it is, y'all. Okay, just hit and lift. Okay, so you would do that over the whole thing. And in the interest of time, if you're following along, this is where you would pause the video and go ahead and do it all. Because I'm not going to sit here and do all this right now. Doing just enough to get it on there. Okay. Sorry, trying to get one section done. And then I would go dark right around because this is probably leaving a shadow. I will go ahead and show you how I'm going to do that. Just go ahead and shadow. 
just a bit of a shadow there. See how I've got it darker completely on those instead of just the little ticks at the edges? I went further in on that. And anywhere where your pencil does not fully blend nicely, go back in with the lighter of the two shades and just go ahead and blend that. So that's when I would come back to my lighter shade and just do blending. Okay, so over here, I'm going to show you the blending. And again, baskets, you don't have to be super neat in doing these. You really don't. But you can see, just doing this right here, down a couple rows, how much better they look. Okay, so then what about your verticals? I've got two other colors, and I grabbed 42 and 43. Again, just two other browns. I did the light one. Just go over those little marks. Okay. Then come back with the darker one, and you're doing the top and bottom of each one. And I'm really just doing little marks across there. Go ahead and do that all because it's behind and it would be shadowed. And these little ones are a little bit more difficult to do because they're so little. Okay, so you would do that on everything. Now, before I go to all these little in-betweens, I do want to finish this with the lighter color because I'm going to go in with black next. Now, do you need to use black? Not necessarily. If you've got another dark brown in your set and you would like to do that, by all means do that. Black can be a little bit harsh, but that's what I picked, so that's what I'm going to go with. And you can see here before and there's after the black. I'm going to come in here, make sure you've got a good tip on your pencil. I don't always tip good, so make sure your tip is good. And go in here and do all the little in-betweens. Because when you're looking through that, you could also do color, yes. If you want to pretend that these berries are all down in there, you could do some of these with red, like the berries are showing through, some of them in blue. The reason I didn't is because they didn't draw the rest of these circles through here, so I figured it was not showing through. But yes, that would make it much, much more realistic looking. Okay, so yeah, that's a, that's a good call. Just coloring them in. Can you see me rotate this pencil from time to time? I'm actually turning it to make sure that I'm getting the pointed edge of that pencil. I don't want it to go flat. When it goes flat, then I'll go resharpen. But by rolling that pencil, I keep that pointed edge going. Okay? So that's really it. Um, the top and bottom. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go and use these two browns. 
these two that were on the vertical, which would be these two. So what I'm going to do is that all gets done in the light, the lighter color, and then here. This is in the lighter. This is lighter. It's what's on top, meaning this is on top of this. Okay. Yeah. And then I would just keep going all the way over. Okay, then underneath so there's that shadow we've talked about the shadows from being underneath by the way if this is your first video with me welcome you know follow my channel if you'd like um, if you follow across the top to about click that then there's a place where you can actually make a donation. This book was actually bought in part with donation. So I do appreciate my followers more than y'all know. And then what I'm going to do, after I've done that all the way across, I am going to come back in with the black again go in the middle. Why not? It just gives it that little bit of extra pop. Okay? And that's really all there is to it. It's like basket weaving 101. So hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've um, got a book somewhere that you can find that's got a basket in it where you're able to come in and put into practice what I've done here. So just go back and forth between your light and your dark. There's the lighter shade again. I changed pencils. And right before you go under, you stop so you can add the dark in there. Okay, and then anything that's on the bottom gets that darker shade. Oh, I didn't miss it. I'm going back to it. Good catch. Okay, so under, over, under, over. The bottom, this little ripple down here, I'm going to use the same two pencils as across the top. And just kind of do the bottom lip area there and then I'm going to get the darker shade and do what's right up next to it. In fact I think I'm going to put that little bit light because it's on top of this. This is on top of this. So we'll come back and put that piece light. There we go. Just enough dark in there to let those look like they're actually hooking over each other. Okay? All right. That's Basket Weaving 101. <laughs> so, all right. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I will see you again for another video soon. Bye.